This conference will now be recorded. Uh, business process. Next one is business process. Business process re-engineering as defined by Hammer and company involved the fundamentals, uh, rethinking and radical redesign of businesses process with the aim of achieving substantial improving in crucial uh, critical performance measures such as cost, quality, services, and speed in uh, simpler terms. It is strategic approach to analyzing and uh, redesigning workflows and uh, process, uh, process within an organization to optimize effectively and effectiveness. Uh, back in the early 90s, uh, business research uh, process uh, re re-engineering as a uh, pioneering business management strategy. It focuses on the through examinations and design of workflows and process within the organization rather than uh, viewing business activities as a collecting of individual tasks or functions. A BPR business process uh, re-engineering encourages uh, breaks them down into a process that can be optimized for maximum uh, effectiveness regardless of whether they occur in manufacturing or service environments. Uh, by embracing BRP, organizations can reap numerous benefits. The key objectives is to achieve uh, significant improvements in critical areas such as cost reductions, enhanced quality, improved customer services, and uh, increasing uh, speed through a holistic approach. To process analysis, anal analysis and redesign, companies can streamline streamline their uh, operations, eliminate uh, redundant steps, reduce bureaucracy, and enhance overall performance. Uh, it is very important to note that uh, BRP goes, uh, BPR goes beyond incremental changes and in, instead advocate for radical transformations. It encourages organizations to challenge existing assumptions rethink their workflows uh, from scratch and leverage technological advancement to drive uh, involvement bpr requires a strong commitment from top management as it often entails major organizational structures structuring and cultural shifts Next one is uh, one of the uh, very major quality term, which is Six Sigma. And here uh, we'll discuss what Six Sigma is. Uh, Six Sigma is methodology that aims to achieve a defect-free process. Um, normally, manufacturing, car manufacturing, or uh, engineering manufacturing companies use Six Sigmas. So it utilizes statistical analysis and quality principles to improve eff efficiency and minimize error. The term sigma refers to the Greek letters uh, Q, which basically which is sigma, it means sigma, which represent the standards uh, deviation of a population in the context of six sigma, the sigma level indicate the degree to which an organization adheres to a defect-free process. Uh, imagine this re reaching a Six Sigma level means uh, making a mistake only three, four times out of a million opportunities. Uh, in practical terms, uh, let's say you handle a million invoices. Uh, with Six Sigma, you would only need to send three credit invoices due to errors so that's incredibly low error rate rate uh, six sigma methodology itself consists of five key uh, phases uh, define measures analyze improve and control so uh, define the stage involves clearly defining the uh, problem or opportunity for improve uh, improvement 
it's crucial to set specific goals and establish a clear project scope mayors uh, focus on gathering data and measures the current state of the process then analyze uh, in this phase uh, we analyze the data collected to identify root cause of defects or in in efficiencies next one is uh, improve once we uh, identified the root cause it time to develop and improvement uh, solutions so this phase involves testing and validating uh, potential improvements to ensure their eff effect eff effectiveness and last one is control uh, final phase aims to establish controls and measures to sustain the improvement achieved uh, by monitoring and continuously measures the process uh, they ensure that the gain made are maintained over time Throughout the Six Sigma journey, uh, a trained Six Sigma professionals lead the effort guiding the team through each phase and optimizing uh, the business process along the way. What is supply chain management? Next one is what is supply chain management? The supply chain management involves the management of the flow of goods and services. Uh, in compassing all the process that uh, convert raw materials into finished product its uh, primary objective is to uh, streamline a company supply side activities activity to maximize customer value and gain a competitive advantage in the marketplace uh, in simple uh, terms, supply chain management is the active management of supply chain activities aiming to maximize customer value and achieve a sustainable competitive advantage. It involves a deliberate and con conscious effort by supply chain firms to develop and operate their supply chain in the most efficient and effective way possible. These supply chain activities encompass various aspects such as product development, sourcing, production, logist, uh, logistics, and the necessary information system to coordinate these activities. Uh, next one is evaluate a range of theories related to operations management. Operation manage theory, management theory is not just a single umbrella theory that uh, magically transform uh, a business production process. Instead, it is a well-established conceptual framework that draws on existing theories and applies them to pro, uh, producers of uh, goods and services. Uh, Acknowledge that operations management theory has been around for quite a long time. In fact, in, it dates back to 1911 during the height of Second Industrial Revolution when uh, Frederick Taylor published his principles of uh, scientific operations management. Taylor's theory encompassed four essential elements uh, developed being a science of management using scientific terms to define an effective worker education training and development of worker cooperation between management and staff uh, <clears throat> next one is heritage of uh, operation management Throughout history, remarkable individuals have paved the way uh, for the development of this discipline, uh, revolutionizing uh, the way we organize the manage out work. Let us embark on this uh, in, in enlightening journey together. 
Our story begins with the concept of division of labor initiating proposed of Adam Smith in 1776. Here and later expanded upon the Charles Babbage in 1852. The groundbreaking idea advocated for uh, breaking down complex tasks into smaller specialized ones leading to increased productivity and efficiency. Another key uh, milestones in the history of, uh, of operations management in is the introduction of standardized parts of uh, by Ali Whitney in 1800. Whitney's in, in innovative approach enabled the mass uh, production production of interchangeable parts transforming manufacturing process and setting the stage for further advancement. Uh, moving forward in time, we encounter the era of uh, scientific management uh, spearheaded by Frederick Taylor in 1881. The year 1913 witnessed a significant milestones, then enter Henry Grant 1916, then a uh, motion study Frank and uh, Lillian uh, Gilbert, quality control uh, Shevard 1925, Deming 1950. Uh, the advent of computing brought a, a paradigm, a para, paradigm shift to operation management in 1938. John Atonsoff invented the first electronic digital computer, opening up new possibilities for data analyzing, stimulating, and decision making in operation management. Uh, lastly, uh, the collab uh, collaborative efforts of the uh, DuPont company in 1957 led to the development of CPM critical path method. method. And uh, part uh, program evaluate and review techniques. These powerful program management tools enable uh, organizations to plan, schedule, and control complex projects with uh, greater pre uh, precision. Uh, next one is uh, material requirement. Uh, Planning. Next one is material. Here, a quick uh, uh, quickly introduction of you know different uh, quality professionals and operational professionals. Taylor uh, management should take more responsibilities for Ali Whitney, born in 19, uh, here we will discuss about different uh, you know, quality productions and what the uh, material requirement planning. Ali Whitney, material requirement planning, computer added design, flexible heritage of operation management continued, Manufacturing System, uh, Beldridge Quality Awards, 1980, Computer Integrated Manufacturing, 1990, Globalization, 1992, 
internet 1995 uh, there are bit uh, different you know quality professionals and uh, operational managers uh, like ali whitney born 1765 died 85 and little introduction frederick taylor then taylor management should take more responsibility for management employer a right jobs providing the proper training providing proper work methods tools establishing legitimate incentive for work to be accomplished frank and lillian gilbert henry ford uh, founder of Ford Company as well. Uh, Edwards Deming, six uh, ends of operations management, focus on cost and efficiency, focus on quality, focus on customizations and design, focus on time, focus on services and value, sustainability, focus on date. So that's it for today. Uh, this is a bit uh, quite long lecture. So we will discuss further uh, tomorrow. We'll start from business process redesign. Uh, so far, if you have any questions in your mind, please email me at tutor management at ukversity.co.uk. My name is uh, Yasir Gulfraz, and uh, you can contact me via email or you can drop me an email with your questions. Thank you very much. Have a good evening and see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Uh, bye.